Right, so there we go. The newest purchase. Um, I think a lot of people have been snapping these up um, just because they're something a, a little bit different, I guess, and they are at the moment pretty cheap. I got this from Rouser Sheffield for $59.99, which is a brilliant price. A lot of other places are selling it for 80 90 even some over 100 so yeah I think for the money it's pretty good so I'm gonna continue and open it up so we have two boxes inside and there's some information on the back, if I can get out the light, if you can read that, it might not be in focus. Um, until they actually release these um, as, a, as a model, I'd, I'd never even heard of them or seen them. I'm not a proper rail buff, so I, that's my excuse. Um, I think I, I've done a bit of looking up on, on the internet, the, the usual stuff with it. Uh, let me just turn that down a little bit. Yeah, you get the usual um, instructions and showing you how to fit the decoder and stuff like that. But we don't care about that for now. Um, yeah, so I hadn't, I didn't really know what these were until I looked them up on the internet. Um, and they're used for loads of different things. Um, weed killing and overhead power cable fits in and stuff like that but yeah I just thought there's something that's quite different so I thought I'd snap one up right I've no idea if this is the power car or not come well packaged in the usual nice QB boxing Okay, I went to that. So we got a detailing kit there with various bits and coupling and a, an extra set of wheels. Fair enough. Right, so that's, that's quite delicate. Okay, that's loose. Not sure if it's meant to be loose. So the whole load looks like it comes off. Okay, and all these pieces are are loose. Well, that's interesting. Right, so here's the obviously the DCC part, and we can see the motor unit in there and everything. So. With that in mind, we may as well fit the um, the decoder. Okay, let's get the other one out. This one is quite a bit lighter. We've got another detail impact there. Use the arm. Okay, so again, all these loads come off. Probably will do the detail impacts, um, but not 
not for now, not at the moment. Right, let's just get that onto the camera. I might refocus on a sec. Right, so. I noticed these are the um, the rail track ones. I think they had network rail ones as well. Okay, the buffers are not sprung. Right, so looks like we got a fitting piece there, or a coupling piece which joins the two together. So I'm not actually sure what all the all of these units are. So if anybody knows actually what these do, um, it'd be interesting to know because I haven't got a clue. But it's quite interesting. So they've got little pins, so you can drop them in wherever you wherever you want. I think. Um, obviously this one has to go over the motor and decoder assembly. Right, so let's grab the um, decoder and we'll fit that. Okay, so fitting the decoder is as easy as that. So I've taken the blanket piece off and just pushed the new one on. And then this will sit over the top. So just one bogey is driven by the looks of it. I'd say the fitment of these loads is not brilliant. That might take some playing with, but let's get it up on the layout and have a go with it. Alright, so there we go. The lights are working. We can just about make that out on there. That's the slow speed performance. All right, let's take it for a run. straight into an incline
for anybody that cares, this is full speed. So I'm just going to let it have a bit of a run now. Let it run in. Whether you believe the whole running in thing is necessary or not, it's good to give it a, a bit of a go. Yeah, well that's it anyway. That is the back from wind off MPV. Um, I think it'll be a, an alright addition to most tracks. Like I say, it's a little bit different. Excuse the wind up here by the way, it's incredibly windy outside. So yeah, that's all it is. I know there's plenty of reviews on there, but as I got one, I thought I'd make a, a video of it. Um, I'll keep playing with it and I'll share more thoughts on it in the future. But yeah, I think it's pretty good. Thanks for watching. If you want to see the previous video, click the top link. If you'd like to subscribe, click the bottom link. Thank you.